So, the best I can tell, you can tell these are real by the edges of the stitched on piece. This up here, the stamping on the dowel of the size, the lining, there's a tag inside. What's up guys, it's Lisa from 916 Boxing. And today we look at my winning MS500 12 ounce gloves. Everybody likes winnings. I think that they're a status symbol to a lot of people. I know fighters who buy fake winning gear so that they can look like they have the full set of the headgear, no foul and gloves. Not my thing. Um, I got hooked on winning back in 2015. I had sparred in Cleto Reyes for years, which are great gloves. I think I had been sparring in 16 ounce, and I decided to try out winning in 14 ounce of this style. Found a seller, got the money together, put them on, and it was never the same. They're light, they're a puncher's glove, the hand compartment is very compact, tremendous protection in the foam, and they look so sexy. So I had a 14 ounce pair, later I bought a 16 ounce pair. These babies are 12s because I'm sparring big men all the time. So these are one year old, only medium use because I rotate through my gloves. Um, incredibly well crafted and hard to get. My old Amazon seller went away. I tend to get these through Kozuji. Check out his website. I think it's kozuji.com. I'll put a link in the description. Um, got them to me in two days. Some kind of, you know, they use Japan Post or whatever it is. Um, these are for intermediate to advanced boxers. You are, unless you're super rich, you don't want to bother with this because they're always over $300. Um, depending on the color or if you get the Velcro versus the lace-up, the cost will, will vary. They can be over four depending on supply and demand and how shipping is going between the United States and Japan at the time. Um, these are for people who are going to be sparring for competition to prepare for a competition. Amateur that's serious, an aspiring pro or a pro. Um, the quality is, I think, the reason that everybody uses these. But I have to say, like, the swag and how fancy it looks, it's also like a... A trendy viral thing. Um, besides Grants, these are the ones. These are my favorite gloves of any type and any brand I've used in the years of boxing. So highly recommend if you're a hard-hitting serious boxer to get some winning gloves. Um, after one year, all the stitching is intact. My laces still look pretty good. No bubbling, no distortions. Um, one thing's things to look out for, besides the fact that these are expensive, compared to, I put my cleatos away, but compared to like a glove, like a cleato, when you're wearing these, this is what you have, your cuff. Like cleatos have a ribbed cuff. Sometimes you can catch an elbow to the forearm through this because the glove is so minimal. So just be aware, like although they're great defense, you can feel this area depending if you happen to catch an elbow or whatever um where other more stocky solidly built gloves you won't feel that but that's the trade-off for such a light incredibly wonderful <laughs> puncher's glove so you'll feel all the digs on the body shot my wrists and the bones in my hands feel secure my thumbs feel secure that said yeah less there's less cuff there's less glove period um they weigh nothing and they look good so um if you have any questions about where to get winnings or how to tell if they're real or fake that could be a whole other video because there's a list of things um if you should get them anything like that leave a comment below mm -hmm.